What's up guys, my name is Gabriel from Joga Software and today I'm going to show you how to install React Native with Expo and get your first app up and running on your very own device. You can think of Expo as a layer on top of React Native that handles a lot of things for us so that we don't have to ourselves. I recommend using Expo with React Native if you are new to programming in general or new to programming with React Native. In later episodes, we will talk about detaching from Expo in order to implement some more advanced native code into our projects. But for now, let's just talk about getting started. There will be three major steps in this process. Step one will be downloading and installing the necessary software. Step two will be creating your first project. And finally, step three will be building and running the project on your device. Please note that the installation in this video will be shown using a Mac environment, but the steps are nearly identical when using a Windows machine. If there is enough demand, I will also do a Windows video of this installation. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Before we get started installing, please note that all links for the software about to be mentioned can be found down in the description. The first thing we'll be installing is Node.js. Go ahead and follow the link to the Node website and download the recommended version. Once your download has finished, run the installer using the default settings. You should now have npm working in the terminal. Open up your terminal and type in npm, then hit enter to confirm it is working. You should get a response that looks something like this. The next thing we need to download is git. Go to the git website and click on the download button. If the download does not start automatically, click the link to start the download. Once the download is finished, run the installer just like you did with Node.js. Next we'll be installing the Expo command line interface. Open up your terminal window and type in the following command, then hit enter. You'll be asked to enter your password. Go ahead and do so and click enter again. The last thing we need to get started is a code editor. In this tutorial, we will be downloading Visual Studio Code. Open up a web browser and search Visual Studio Code on Google. Click on Download Visual Studio Code and select the download option for your computer. Once the download is finished, on Mac we just extract the application and drop it into the Applications folder. We now have everything we need to create our first React Native app with Expo. Open up Launchpad and click on Visual Studio Code. A prompt will appear. Just hit open to continue. Go ahead and close the welcome page as well as the little pop-up message that appears. Now click on terminal at the top and select new terminal. In the newly opened terminal window, type in cd, then a space, and look for the directory that you want to save your project in. Once you've found a folder, drop it into the terminal window and click enter. Now type expo init in the terminal and click enter. You'll be given two options. Choose tabs and click enter. Two more options will appear. Just type in the name of your project in both and click enter.
Once it finishes, you have now successfully created your first React Native project with Expo. Click on the folder icon in the top left corner and open up the newly created project directory. You're going to notice that we're getting a warning from Git that we have too many active changes. We're getting this warning because Git is trying to include files in our repo that are not necessary when committing. To solve this, we're going to create a new file with the following lines written in it. Once you're done, click File Save As and name the file .git ignore. Click Save and click on Use Dot when prompted. Next, close and reopen Visual Studio Code as well as the project directory. You will now notice that the number on the left has gone from 5k to a much more manageable 23. The last thing we need to do before running the project on our device is to create an Expo account on the Expo website. Open up a browser and search Expo, then click on the Expo website link. Now click on create an account and follow the steps on this page to get your account set up. Once your account is ready to go, return to Visual Studio Code and open up another terminal window. Type in Expo Login and click Enter. Use the credentials that you just created. Now type in npm run start and click Enter. A web page will open up indicating that your app is now running. The final thing we need to do is download the Expo app onto our phone, sign in, and launch the app. If you are using an iPhone, open up the App Store and search Expo. When the results load, download the Expo client application. Once it has finished downloading, launch the app and navigate to the Profile tab and sign into your account. Once you have signed in, click on the Projects tab and you will now see your project available on the list. Simply click on the project to launch it and wait for it to finish building. Once it is done building, close your welcome page and pat yourself on the back because you have now successfully run your first project on your own device. Go ahead and play around with it a bit. Once you are done, you can stop the project by going back into the terminal within Visual Studio Code and pressing Ctrl C on the keyboard. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you like my videos here on Joka Software, don't forget to hit that like button and comment below if you have any questions. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload the next video.